Hey, it's Ollie, and in this video, I want to talk about my books of short stories and how I created them. Uh, Bucky asked about that, how I wrote the, the books of short stories, so I thought I would talk a little bit about that uh, because it's quite interesting to, to hear behind the scenes, I guess. So, um, in case you're not familiar with these, these are books of short stories for beginners and intermediate learners that I wrote uh, in order to give people interesting, compelling, enjoyable content in the language that they're learning. So these are short stories. Uh, each book has eight short stories. They're on a mix of different uh, genres. They're all cool stories um, that are graded for different levels so that they're not too hard. They're easily uh, accessible. You've got um, help with some of the vocabulary. They're broken down into short chapters, all of these different things. Uh, they've been, I've been really, really pleased with their, the, the reaction and many of you have, uh, have, really, uh, have, have really enjoyed them. Uh, if you'd like to check them out, you can go to IWillTeachYourLanguage.com forward slash Amazon. All that's going to do is going to forward you to my store on Amazon where you can see all the, all the books. The Kindle versions are super cheap. Um, uh, the paperbacks are a bit more expensive. And we've got the audio versions as well, which is, uh, which is handy. Well, more than handy. It's very, very useful, actually, so, because you can listen along as you read. Um, as you read the stories. So the process of creating these stories um, was a long one, a very long one, and, it, and it's, it's different for all of the different um, books as well. I started, the, the, first, the very first book was a book of short stories for beginners in Spanish, and then from there I developed other languages, so uh, Italian, French, German, Russian, and, uh, and then uh, I created volume two, and then I created intermediate books. Um, so it, it was a, an evolution, but it all started with the Spanish books. So I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that one because that's where the where, where it all started really. Um, I'm a I've always been a huge fan of reading. Um, the I remember the first book I ever read successfully cover to cover in a foreign language was in Spanish, and it was um, Crónica de una muerte anunciada. Um, and it was, uh, I was sitting on top of a mountain in the north of Argentina and I'd woken up at three in the morning and I couldn't breathe. It's a horrible experience. I was so high up. Irusha was the name of the place. Uh, yeah, you can look it up. It's a beautiful mountain town. Anyway, I woke up at three in the morning. I couldn't breathe um, because of the altitude. And so I kind of sat outside and was like panicking. And um, eventually I managed to take enough deep breaths that the oxygen found its way into my body and I, and I recovered my breath. And uh, But I was too scared to go back to sleep, so I picked up a book that I'd been carrying around with me for ages and I started reading it. And uh, I got hooked on it and I ended up finishing the book in a few days and it was just incredible. And I noticed the most insane benefit to you know, in my Spanish. Because what happens when you read is that you get exposure to a type of language, a quality of language, that you never get when you're speaking. Okay, when people speak, it's like me now, it's kind of, inco it's, well, hopefully not that incoherent, but it's like, you know, well, like that, like, you know, like, sort of thing, you're stopping and starting, false starts, corrections, uh, poorly thought through sentences. But when you're reading stuff that's been um, carefully written, what you're getting is the best examples of, of grammar in the language, the best usage of the language, um, well-chosen vocabulary. And uh, so by reading, you really elevate your 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 ability in the language to quite a considerable degree. So I wanted to create something that was um, that would help people start to read. Because the big problem is that when you pick up a novel um, in a foreign language, it's far too hard. The only reason I made it through the, that book, Crónica de una muerte anunciada, was because my Spanish was at a level where I could cope with it. But if you're not at that level yet, what do you do? not read that's not a good solution so these books of short stories are aimed at beginners okay. if you're a complete beginner they're too hard for you but if you've got you know if you're a2 um, then you can start to, to to handle them and so what I did was I thought well okay I want to create these books of stories to help people read and so I went down and did a lot of research um, on, on other books of short stories out there because you know graded readers are not a new thing there are you know, I don't know how many series or volumes of uh, graded readers out there. So I, I went and I looked carefully at what was out there, what was selling, what people seemed to like. I read carefully through uh, different reviews of books to see what kinds of things people liked. And I kind of got together this concept of what I thought would be the best mix of um, attributes to these books. 
uh, specifically things like the length of each chapter, uh, the type of additional supplementary material that was included, the um, things like whether we would have English translations or whether it would just be more uh, like a monolingual book. All these, I, I kind of got together a rough idea of what I thought would be. Uh, well, not what I thought would be, but based on all the research I did, what would be um, like most likely to benefit people, most likely to please people. And then after that, I then took a, a large group of people um, from uh, readers of the blog into focus groups. Uh, I think I created Facebook groups, and um, many of you watching this will probably have been part of that a few years ago now. And, um, and, and I asked questions like, if you're reading books of short stories, what genres would you most like to read? Would you know, horror, sci-fi, romance, or whatever? And I kind of listed them out, and I got people to tell me what their um, favourite genres were. And then um, I did things like I, I, I gave samples of exercises and activities, and said, you know, what do you what do you like? Uh, which of these activities are most helpful? Um, and so it was this big process of of looking at doing market research, seeing what was out there, finding out what people did and didn't like, and then trying to improve on that and make better products. And if you go into bookshops and you look at uh, graded readers, you see my experience has always been that they are so dull, there's nothing that makes me want to pick them up, right? Um, and so... That's fatal flaw number one. So I wanted to make this exciting. So we've got stories from, uh, you know, I'm not kind of rehashing Charles Dickens novels and for uh, elementary levels or, you know, not that there's anything wrong with Charles Dickens, of course, but, but, you know, this is what you get. This is a standard thing. You just get these kind of classic novels, probably those novels that are out of copyright so they can be reproduced. Um, you know, written in very kind of dull, simplified language and, uh, and with boring covers. Like, it's not the kind of thing that you wake up in the morning or, or go and lie on a beach and think, oh, I, I want to read this. You know, so instead I created interesting stories on a variety of genres. And the covers, if you look at the covers of these books, they are big and bold and um, very idiosyncratic, maybe cliched, but whatever. That's the point. Like, I'm trying to create some kind of uh, feeling of excitement and interest. Uh, among people who are looking at these books and um, and and in so doing motivate people to pick up the books and start reading them and that's been exactly the result you know I, I get emails on a, every week from people saying like Ollie I've been reading your books of short stories on the plane and uh, they've been super useful um, and that's extremely gratifying for me to see that that they've had that that impact um, I don't know how many copies uh, of these books we've sold but it must be in the tens of thousands now uh, and it's been you know all around the world. The, the English versions of the books are very popular in Brazil and Japan. Um, anyway, I could go on, but uh, hopefully that's given you some kind of insight. I could talk about the technical side of it as well, um, because t technically, <laughs> uh, in terms of actually getting these books published, it's not easy. There's a lot to do, um, and that's just kind of a steep learning curve. But I can I can make another video about that if you are interested. Um, I doubt most people are though, so I'll leave it there. Uh, again, if you'd like to check out the books and uh, pick up a copy, you can go to Amazon and search for Ollie Richards, or you can follow the link, the, the, my direct link, which is uh, IWillTeachYourLanguage.com forward slash um, Amazon. All right, hope that answered uh, the question, and I'll see you back in the next video. Bye.